Good Monday morning, and thanks for joining our live coverage of the arrival of SpaceX's Dragon on its 20th resupply mission in the year of the 20th anniversary of continuous human presence aboard the International Space Station. Dragon will arrive at the station today with over 4,300 pounds of supplies, equipment, experiments, and more for the crew aboard the orbiting laboratory, currently flying 268 statute miles just over the tip of South Africa. Station in Houston on two. Dragon is at the 30 meter hold. We're performing assessments on the ground. Let you know shortly when we are go to proceed with step four at 1.102. Okay, copy. We're standing by then for step four. In this view, if you look below the P on SpaceX, you can see two small emblems that look like the International Space Station. That denotes the two previous flights this vehicle has made. Station on two, step three, decimal one, and a robo procedure SSRMS is in the high order position. Copy. And Drew, let us know when your review is complete and you guys are ready for Dragon Approach. You're getting the same view as the astronauts right now. This is a look at the Cupola workstation on the International Space Station, where NASA's Andrew Morgan and Jessica Meir will be ready to capture the vehicle. You can see at the bottom of your screen the Canada Arm 2. It will be prepped and ready once Dragon reaches 10 to 12 meters, or about 30 feet, away from the International Space Station. You can see your screen starting to get a little bit darker as the space station flies 268 statute miles south of Australia. Step three, decimal three, crews ready for a dragon approach to capture point. True copy, dragon is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. Station Houston on two, Dragon has begun approach from 30 meters. Monitor first step five and one decimal one zero two. International Space Station has just crossed the Terminator line. That's that difference between day and night on Earth. International Space Station orbits Earth about every 90 minutes, seeing almost 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. It's flying constantly at about 17,500 miles per hour. Station Houston on two, confirm capture point hold per step six and one decimal one zero two. True copy all, you are go for capture sequence, perform step forward and one decimal one zero, dragon capture. Begin to monitoring the backway cue card and I'll remind to meet exercise and uh, constraints that uh, Oleg will need to stop on ARID. Y'all, Adam, we're go for capture and we'll put step four in work. And as you heard, the crew is go for capture, dragging now at that 10 to 12 meter hold point. As this is the final flight of this style of Dragon capsule, this will also be the last grapple and berthing arrival of the Dragon spacecraft. 
In the future, Dragon will dock to the International Space Station, meaning it will be an automated, automated installation, and we won't see this procedure. And the arm is now in motion. They're moving in toward Dragon and the capture point. Arm now six meters away. One meter. Cannon arm two over the pen. Capture has been commanded. And snares are closed around that grapple fixture. Houston station on two for Dragon. Go ahead on two, Jessica. Adam, capture is complete. We are go for post capture reconfiguration. Copy all, and congratulations to you and Drew on a successful capture of CRS 20. Final capture for Dragon One Castle. Thank you, Adam. The SpaceX 20 mission is a milestone for several reasons. It is, of course, the 20th SpaceX cargo mission, but it is also the last SpaceX cargo vehicle captured by the Canadarm, as future vehicles will automatically dock to the space station. It is also the last cargo vehicle that will visit during our current cruise time on ISS. This is actually the third time that this specific Dragon capsule has arrived here at station, demonstrating the more sustainable approach that will be paramount to the future of spaceflight. We welcome SpaceX 20 and are eager to reveal its bounty of science and space station hardware and supplies. Congratulations to the SpaceX and all of the ISS partner teams involved.